Hello, my name is Bob Boyce, so today I'm going to cut kingfish and salmon. Um, the kingfish I will cut the standard Japanese style, but the salmon I will cut the way Western style do it. So here we go. What's the fish name, brother? So, let's start with the kingfish first. Why you wipe it? Because it's, uh, the fish are wet, so just to for safety so it doesn't slip on the chopping board when you're cutting it. Hey, are you Josh? Uh, Alright. No uh, worries, mate. Huh? Always. Kingfish. Kingfish. It is a kingfish. That's a pokeball? Ah, uh, yes. And you're filming yourself? Um, Subi want to make like a channel or something. <laughs> if, it's not, if it's not good, we'll probably do it again. <laughs> maybe on a... Maybe next week or something? Yeah. Love that. Why we cut the middle? Um, that was the bone in the middle, so you don't really want that. And then since that this one's for pokeball, so we want all the meat. Yes, Filet of fish. So we'll do the kingfish first. Just a little bit here. Thank you. 
that's for Subi, my friend. Thank you. So this is so this is pretty much what you do when you do the sashimi. So you can see, you can see. No. If it's too much, let me know. So this is sashimi cut. So this is the belly part. So I will cut that side. And I will cut it from the top bit here. So let let your knife do the work. Just sharpen it a little bit more. This is not the proper knife, but uh, I think it's sharp enough to cut the sashimi. So I'll trim that side there, and then um, I'd say like if sashimi, a kingfish sashimi, like say like nine pieces sashimi. I will cut. Sorry. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is your cut for the shimmy. bit different than the Japanese style I guess and then um, because this is for pokeball and then like so we don't really keep this like part here so I'm gonna trim that why we don't keep it because this one because we keep our pokeball until the next day I would rather not use that part for pokeball yes Sometimes they just get smelly and then it's not, and that's not nice to eat. And change the color. Yeah, the color change it, the water come out and then it just like make the fish doesn't even last. So we can keep a couple of days? We can keep a couple of days max, that's about oh. it. Contamination and stuff. And so I'm just going to trim as much as I can, make it nice and clean. Um, the silver bit here, it's also the same. Like, I'd rather not to, but it seems like, you know, like it's alright for the colors as well. So, and then when I cut my pokeball, I like to cut it in half and then split this one in half again so the fish is not too thick. So if it's like this, chop it up. Yep, yeah, and then, then it's it's nice and good size for to eat. And then you just like pokeball, just a normal dice cut. Yeah. It's a little bit of a waste, you know, because this is like a sashimi. Great fish, you know, it will be nice for sashimi. Yep. Does it taste different with the tail mm -hmm. and the body? It is, um, of course, that you know, none, none, no one wants to eat the tail part because they are a bit chewy and hard. And because of sinew. Yeah, and then there's a lot of sinew in there too. But uh, yeah, of course, like most of people would rather eat the middle part, mm -hmm. you know, and towards the belly. Especially when the belly belly part is like more famous with the with the fat. There we go. So that's our dice pokey ball. Thank you, Chef Fofo. Thank you for watching. And then now uh, I'll see you guys again next time I cut the fish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. <laughs>